mayor told me to be brief. I've already ran his schedule over already once this morning, so I had to rechange everything I had to say. So anyway, welcome to District 15, the South End, Councilwoman Mary Ann Butler, and Historical Iroquois Park. This year's theme, The World is a Stage, is very apropos when you think about the Iroquois Amphitheater and Iroquois Park, managed by Mike Slayton. For over 75 years, the community has been entertained from Carol Channing to recently Billy Idol and a whole lot of other acts in between. It's hard to believe this is just our third year for this great event. And this, and this great event, and we already had over 100,000 guests walk this quarter and a mile trail through this park that was created in, by in-house staff. I saw Kirk Dolan, Steve Meadows, Canuel earlier. That's pretty cool when you think about your staff taking the time to put something in here that's used all year round by the bikers, the joggers, the walkers, and the horse people. In Mayor Fisher's mantra of continuous improvement, he said, it was great to be rated the number one show in the US, Halloween show in the US by Country Living Magazine. So how are you gonna make it bigger and better? I said, well, Travis Reckner, who you will hear from later, once said, he proclaimed, we were going to have the biggest and baddest pumpkin event in the universe, Mayor. So uh, that's the only way we can top being the number one show in the U.S. Now, really, a person who needs no introduction and is working hard to make Louisville one community and allows our team to do spectacular events like this, the Jack Lantern Spectacular, Mayor Greg Fisher. Thank you, Marty. I appreciate it. And... Uh, yeah, your all's views as good as ours looking this way. It's a great place to hold a press conference in the middle of a forest and get out a little bit here on this beautiful day. So welcome, up, welcome everybody to Iroquois Park. Uh, we are really blessed to have a tremendous park system in our city and especially our Olmstead Park. So it's great to see you all here. A lot is happening at Iroquois Park. Uh, we, of course, have the amphitheater over here, which I think is one of the best amphitheaters in the country. We just concluded a great season of entertainment. Uh, Alabama Shakes, uh, Billy Idol. I was at the Billy Idol event with my wife, who's a Billy Idol fan. So it was great to see it uh, packed out and just people really enjoying what's happening here. Then we got the current project, of course, to restore the North Overlook. So that's expected to be completed by next spring. And then when we're looking to today, I'm really excited to say that this is the third year, as Marty talked about, for the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular here in Louisville. And the, the first year, of course, was one w with a lot of curiosity and, like, what is this all about? I mean, how can people get excited about pumpkins? Well, we quickly found out uh, how people can get excited. Paul, we just didn't know, man. We didn't have that background to understand how exciting pumpkins can be. And even my sons that are... Uh, you know, in their early to mid 20s say, Dad, they never knew pumpkins could be so cool. So when we when we pass that test, you know, we know that we're really on to something here. So this this uh, we're looking forward to big things uh, with this spectacular this year. We're growing every year. Marty talked about the wonderful attendance that we've had. We're expecting us around 90,000 people to walk this quarter mile trail uh, this year. That's about, that will be three times as many as we had in the first year. So it's been really cool to see the way that it's grown every year because, as usual, quality sells. And when people come out, their expectations are totally blown away, and they start talking to all their friends and family about it. We have people that drive through town uh, to stop here, and they see it on all the social media. And it's fun when I'm out here just to talk to folks and say, how would you learn about this? It really is spread all throughout the country. Uh, we... The, the view, obviously, is spectacular. The craftsmanship is spectacular. Safety has always been a priority from day one. So the path is well lit, fully staffed for people uh, that need help as well. So that's super critical. And it's nothing short of amazing. You all have seen this. Uh, there will be more than 5,000 jack-o'-lanterns and then 100 of the in intricately designed pumpkins where people are stopping and taking pictures and are kind of blown away by the various figures that we'd see out here. This year we're going to see, you can see your favorite actor or actress, singer, villain, hero, historical landmark, sports rivalries, you name it, 
we got it here. And you never know what's going to appear throughout the show. One of the things that's fun is just that as the weeks go on, you see new pumpkins appear with all kind of things that these guys adapt to uh, throughout the festival itself. Now, this year's theme is All the World's a Stage, which is featuring scenes from Broadway plays, movies, TV shows, comic books, cartoons, and more. So each year there's a, a theme that is really broad and speaks to young kids to old kids. And this year's theme of All the World's a Stage will be no different. Now, one of the things that Marty alluded to it is this is the best in the business as it relates to Halloween activity. The show is produced by our friends from Passion for Pumpkins, which their name says it all. They've been in the business for over 25 years, and this is a group that really knows how to put on top-notch, affordable family entertainment, and they get better every year, and they adjust throughout the show. And when you see that, that's when you know you got people that love what they do. And they're just always trying to make it better. It's really a cool thing. Tickets are affordable. Nine bucks for kids, 10 to $13 for seniors, 12 to $15 for adults. And if folks want to buy their tickets online, they can do that at www.jackolanternlouisville.com. All right? I want to say we, I really appreciate the Passion for Pumpkins team, Travis, Paul, all the work that you guys bring in your unique event uh, to this city. We did tell them when they came here, they were like, this is a nice city the first year. And we kept saying, well, why don't you all move here? And uh, I think how, it might have taken beyond a year or so, but they are now residents of our great city, Paul and Travis. So thank you guys for believing in us and having a good time. We're really glad to have you all as citizens here. So what, just encourage everybody to come out in this great family entertainment and one of, I think, the premier Halloween event in the country, and it's right here in our city. Now, we've had an interesting partnership on this as well. So Brooke Pardue is the vice chair of the Louisville Metro Parks Foundation. She'll be up in a moment to talk about how the Jack O'Lantern Spectacular will benefit the Louisville Metro Parks Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that raises money for parks improvement in our city. So it's the foundation, uh, Marty's idea, and others to use this as a way to raise money to keep our parks top notch. But first, let's hear from Travis Reckner from Passion for Pumpkins, one of the founding family members. And he'll tell us about this show and talk about what visitors will see this year. So please welcome Travis Reckner, Louisvillian. Louisvillian, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to start by thanking the mayor, Marty, uh, the, all the Parks uh, Foundation, um, everybody over at Iroquois, the theater, uh, the CVB um, and everyone here in Louisville for really embracing and taking this this festival and this event to where we thought it could be. So, um, you know, the mayor kind of took my thunder explaining what the show was or is this year. All the world's a stage, uh, Shakespeare's poem, um, as you like it. So we're just kind of adapting it to what we want to, uh, you know, portray or take it as it's all forms of entertainment. That way there we can fit in different types of movies, Broadway, you know, like the mayor said, just about anything under the sun uh, you'll find here on the path. Uh, Marty said earlier, I promise the greatest pumpkin show in the universe, the biggest baddest. The biggest baddest. Well, now we're going to bring it to Middle Earth into the Shire and see if we can create the same event there. So once again, just thank everybody. Thank you, Louisville, for really uh, accepting and, and turning this into a, a wonderful tradition. Thank you very much. You know, the mayor mentioned that they're uh, now Louisvillians. Uh, I was in a meeting with him earlier today, and he is still recruiting other folks uh, this morning to become Louisvillians as well. And I'm glad Travis did mention the Convention Visitors Bureau, Karen Williams, her team, Doris. I'm telling you, I get a lot of credit, but I'm, if it wasn't for our Convention Visitors Bureau, this event would not even be here in Louisville, Kentucky. So um, a big shout out, a big hand to them, please. 
Before I bring up Brooke Pardue, I just want to just want to mention this. Yes, she is the one that's pushing the Parks Foundation in, in these projects, the five phases of the playground, spray ground initiative. But Brooke has been highly involved in this community, giving back for a long time. Her father, Ed Perry, helped found the first tee of Louisville. Brooke has been intimately involved with that, making that become one of the biggest and baddest in the universe as well, first tee programs. And you think about this event and, and Brooke and what she's bringing to the table, it, it truly is entrepreneurial government in, in its finest when you can come with a private public entity for community good. So everyone, a big hand for Miss Brooke Pardue. A little shorter than these guys. Good morning. Um, thank you, Marty. You're a dear. Thank you, Mayor Fisher, for being here. And a special thank you to uh, Passion for Pumpkins for their continued support of this incredible event. So this event does benefit the Louisville Metro Parks Foundation. Um, we are We've been established to preserve, protect, promote, and improve our public lands, facilities, and equipment. After last year's Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, we were able to put in phase one of our six-phase project, um, and that was a $270,000 playground at California Park that's already being utilized by the neighborhood, the children at Wheatley Elementary, those who come to the California Community Center. It is an absolutely spectacular playground that is not just what we think of as playgrounds, but it is fully inclusive. And by that I mean that a child in a wheelchair or a grandmother on a walker that everyone of every physical ability can engage together on the equipment. This is the fifth of these playgrounds that we've installed through our city parks and with the continued support of the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, we hope to move on and raise the additional $1.7 million that is in our current plan to improve the playgrounds and spray grounds in our community parks. Um, this is all possible because of the wonderful sponsors that support this event and, and our foundation. So I wanna make sure to thank Papa John's, uh, the Louisville Convention and Visitors Bureau, LG&E, Republic Bank, Kentucky One Health, the University of Louisville, Kentucky Select Realtors and Actors Theater, just to name a few. We've had multiple sponsors um, and we very much appreciate their support. So I wanna encourage everyone to come out to this wonderful, family-friendly uh, event here in Iroquois Park. Uh, you're not only gonna enjoy an amazing evening, but you're supporting a wonderful cause in the Louisville Metro Parks Foundation. Um, speaking of family entertainment, we've got John Walczak here from the Louisville Zoo, who is going to talk to us about uh, their yearly event, the world's largest Halloween party. John? Thank you so much, Brooke. Um, this is uh, very nice of you to invite us out to celebrate this incredible event and talk about, Mayor, I think we have got to be the Halloween center of the universe, as well as uh, this incredible jack-o'-lantern spectacular. And folks, if you haven't been out to this, you've got to come. It is truly spectacular. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful event. This year at your zoo, we are hosting, Meyer sponsoring, and we are hosting the world's largest Halloween party. This is year 34 for us. And we spent some time studying Halloween. We spent some time around jack-o'-lanterns. And if you haven't been to this event, you have got to come to this event because it is truly spectacular. Uh, it, is, it is absolutely the artwork. Uh, Travis, what you all do is amazing. It's, it's absolutely spectacular. Uh, and it's, it's a great celebration of our community. And also, I just have, just have to compliment the foundation and, and parks. What a phenomenal mission fit. Nature, play, enjoyment, getting the family together. It's, it's everything that... that the, the parks represent, and it's so much what we all need, getting people back into nature and enjoying it in this absolutely enchanting environment 
I just all I have to say is uh, job incredibly well done. I think you're going to have an awesome season. And don't forget the world's largest Halloween party at the zoo. Continue that 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 connection with nature. Come out and see some of the world's most rare animals and enjoy the largest Halloween party. Thank you so much. I think he's right. We may be Halloween City USA. You know, this event, again, it, it goes for a great cause. It's, this is a great city. We have a lot of things going on. I think my dad, Mayor, fell in that same category. Pumpkins. What, what, he, he's like Mikey. He's, he's skeptical of everything. And after he toured the show the very first time, he was starting to give me some ideas on how to, how to make it bigger and better. So um, I do want to remind everyone, hashtag 502 pumpkins. That's hashtag 502 pumpkins. Tweet out. Send us, your, send us your pictures. Tell us what's going on. Tell us what you like. And uh, we are going to be bigger and badder. And this will be the biggest and the baddest in the universe, Travis. Paul, you know what it's got to be.